Good morning, everybody. It's Nick Grimshaw, and I have another segment of Getting Out from Between the Lines. And this week, I my topic is cumulative knowledge. Now, I'm going to build this using one subject. And at the end, I'm going to bring this um, together for you. So bear with me as we go through this. But I have um, a point that I want to make through using these various quotes that I'm going to show you today. So the first is Brian Tracy quote from Eat That Frog. And he says, the truth is that once you have decided on your number one task, anything else that you do is a relative waste of time. And I want you to think about that and think about what your work has been today? What have you been focused on? Are you focusing on that one number one task? Or are you doing something else? Or are you having trouble staying focused? Okay, so when you get to that, it brings me to a book called The One Thing by Barry Keller. Gary Keller, sorry. And it comes up with a great question you can ask yourself in the book to find your one thing. Because what is your one thing? How do you find that most important thing? It's something I struggled with for a long time. I just couldn't figure out what my most important thing was. Reading the one thing really help me define that. And I've been using that knowledge ever since. So I really impress upon you, if there's one book you're going to read this year, read the one thing. Because it's really going to make a difference. But I'm not just going to tell you the question that he suggests you ask yourself. You need everything that leads up to asking that question why you ask that question, and how to work from the answer. Okay, so the one thing, keep that in mind. So now we're going to come at it a slightly different direction. And um, here's a quote from Gary Keller. There will always be just a few things that matter more than the rest. And out of those, one will matter the most. So it's not that you have only one thing that's important, but you have the most important thing. And that's the thing that you should be working on. And that's the thing that you should be focusing on. So Stephen Covey comes at it. So the same thing, he's saying the same thing, different words. And this is why I believe that this repetitive information that you get, and you hear it slightly different from one person to another, from one book to another, from one teacher to another, from one video to another, whatever it is that you're seeing, watching, listening to, it comes to you slightly differently. And just like that drop of water on the rock, it's going to make an impression. How different our lives are when we really know what is deeply important to us. And keeping that picture in mind, we manage ourselves each day to be and to know what matters most. So by having and really knowing what that thing that is deeply important to us, that allows us to manage and focus each day on those matters. And that quote comes from John C. Maxwell's The Invaluable, The 15 Invaluable Laws of Growth, a great book about why growth is so important to you as an entrepreneur, as a business person, somebody who's trying to build a business online. Growth is almost mandatory that you can't do it if you don't put yourself in the flow of learning, if you don't put yourself in the flow of knowledge, if you don't create a consistent practice to 
put yourself in that stream, that flow from the universal source of the, the flow that's coming through you. If you don't put yourself in that stream, you're not going to be able to take advantage of the intuitive leaps that come from that. So here's another way of putting it. Once you find out what your life work is, your world will come alive. You will wake up every morning with a limitless reservoir of energy and enthusiasm. All your thoughts will be focused on your definite object. So again, here we are, we're, we're honing our focus. And one of the biggest challenges to an entrepreneur is there are so many things to do and so many tasks to complete that it's hard to figure out what you should do first. But if you know what your life work is, if you understand your purpose, your mission, then your one thing becomes really clear to you. Okay. So what's my point in all this? Albert Einstein said, you can't solve a problem with the same mind that created it. So if you don't get out from between the lines, then you're stuck in that narrow thinking that holds that problem in place because you have no other way of looking at it. Okay, so by creating a purposeful practice of learning through books, videos, seminars, and workshops, whatever it is that you use to, to create that growth within you, creating a purposeful practice is key here. It puts you in the cumulative flow of knowledge that allows you to make intuitive leaps outside your typical thinking and that means you can suddenly look at a problem that's been bugging you for a while and because of this being in the stream of cum cumulative learning you see outside the problem and all of a sudden it's not a problem you see that it is a solution or you see that it's a question, or you can see that it's something that's trying to teach you something. The problem changes, and, and when it does, the solution will come to you, but it won't come to you while you are caught within those narrow confines of your everyday life, and you don't have a way of improving your mind and changing the way it thinks. So um, to go back to that, you break through habitual thinking, thinking from between the lines. It's to step out from between those lines of our conditioned experience to the liberated emptiness of true creativity. So as long as you've got lines and you've got all these constraints on you and all of these learned behaviors and things you must and shouldn't do and your fears and your all those things that hold you between those lines you can't get to that liberated point where all of that disappears and you have this canvas that's blank on which you can paint and create your own life so this brings me back, all the way back, because I started with um, something that I found in Brian Johnson's um, newsletter, and I'm bringing you back to something um, from a quote he was using out of a book um, by Dan Coyle called The Little Book of Talent. And in that it says, repetition has a bad reputation. We tend to think of it as dull and uninspiring. But this perception is titanically wrong. Repetition is the single most powerful lever we have to improve skills because it uses the built-in mechanism of making the wires of our brain faster and more accurate. Okay, so that's from um, the Little Book of Talent by Dan uh, Coyle. And if 
you're looking for somebody that will help you get into that stream that 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 will open you to all these things brian johnson really like google him and look him up i really recommend the way he looks at books and what he reads and, and it, it really helps you know where to go so what you may read listen to watch or attend may seem repetitive but the steady drip of a drop on a rock you create new neural networks and start to find other connections and then wham the magic happens when you're working with really separate ideas it would seem at times so you watch um, a video on television and you read um, it could be a piece of fiction and you're also uh, studying the Course in Miracles or whatever all of a sudden having all those threads in play it creates this different space for you and you move away from being trapped within those lines that's what I wanted to get across to you today. I hope the quotes helped. I hope it was inspiring. In the meantime, have an awesome day. Dream big. Live inspired.